job given rather than job seeking. I'm looking forward to that and I'm sure Chris and Mimi will do Thank you. We have started this policy already. We have started an incubation center eight months back. There are 65 startup companies. We also incorporated the entrepreneurship as a compulsory subject in our undergraduate courses. So, I think you have on this. Because my father is also an entrepreneur. He started various companies and given employment for over 70,000 people. Our heart, and we have to be patient with this, 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 and the the As I mentioned in my convocation address, renewable energy is going to happen and electric vehicles is going to happen. Every youngster has to move in that direction. And that entrepreneurship is the best way to get us there. And I'm hoping that a large number of the youngsters will be able to start working. Will you be working with the government to give the push for the ACE? Because they that, that has been going on in the country. They will be only part of it. Sir, in this critical condition, can you conduct the campus interview for your support? All in campus interview for your support. In fact, we are doing big internship. Guide us in the right path. The path of those on whom you have bestowed your blessings. Not those who have incurred your discretion. Not those who have gone astray. Amen. Thank you. The most distinguished Chief Guest Professor Sri Ashok Junjunwala, Chancellor of B.S. Abdul Rahman Crescent Institute of Science and Technology, Mr. Arif Bohari Rahman, Pro Chancellor of our Institute, Mr. Abdul Khadr, eminent members of Board of Management of B.S. Abdul Rahman Crescent Institute of Science and Technology, all respected members of the Academic Council, the Finance Committee, the Planning and Monitoring Board, the Registrar, the Controller of Examination, and other offices of Crescent Institute, the deans, the directors, the heads of the departments and the faculty members, our alumni, graduates, and parents, press and media persons, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Kassan Institute and on my own behalf, I extend a very warm welcome to you all to this 10th convocation of B.S. Abdul Rahman Kassan Institute of Science and Technology. I cordially welcome our Chief Guest Sri Asok Junjunwala, Institute Professor Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Madras, who accepted our invitation to be with us today. His achievements are many. I will read only a few due to paucity of time. Professor Junjunwala holds a BTEC degree from IIT Madras, MS and PhD degree from University of Maine, USA. Professor Junjunwala is considered to be a pioneer in nurturing industry academia interaction in India towards R&D, innovation and product development. Pro Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, members of the Board of Management and faculty of B.S. Abdul Rahman Crescent Institute of Science and Technology. I thank you for inviting me to this August occasion. This is the day of celebration for the graduating class of 2020. Unfortunately, many of you are not here. You are there online. I'm not able to see many of you. There are a few of you and hope 
whatever I'm saying may reach you. The first stage of life where one grows up and learns ends today for you, the class of 2020 of the Crescent Institute. I offer my heartiest congratulations to all 1800 of you for successfully crossing this best for a meaningful future. I especially congratulate the medal and the prize that have succeeded. Tomorrow, you enter the second stage of human life, which is a period you will be contributing back to this earth and society. In today's time, it typically lasts for about 50 years. From now on, you will enter this real world as an independent person, responsible for yourself, responsible for your family, responsible for your nation, and responsible for humanity at large. In Indian tradition, it is said that a human being is born to contribute to the earth. It is this which makes your life meaningful. I have been at this stage for the last 40 years and can say from my personal experience that this is indeed true. If you leave this part of the life well, you will be a satisfied person. 